This is SAT test 5, calculator question number 19. College Board gives us a triangle and asks for the length of segment AD in this triangle. When you're working on triangle problems, often you work your way through the triangle drawing inferences from what you know. For example, triangle BCD, the angles add up to 180 degrees. The angles of a triangle always add to 180. So we have 90 plus 60 is 150. This angle here will be 30. Since these are each 30, they add up to 60. 60, 60, the third angle is also 60 degrees. We also have a special right triangle here, the 30, 60, 90. And College Board in the start of the section gives us the ratios of the sides for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So you know that this side is 6 from C to D. Also, equilateral triangle, all three sides are the same, they're 12, this entire side is 12, so this half is 6. Alternatively, from the 60-60-60 equilateral triangle, AC is 12, and since DC is 6, the remainder, AD, is also 6. So the correct answer would be B. College Board often asks you triangle questions, almost always. You frequently need either similar triangles which I could have looked at BDC and BDA as similar triangles. Or you need your special triangles, which are given at the start of the section, or the fact that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. In any case, proficiency with triangles is helpful on the SAT. So please review these topics and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.